Hello there, I'm App or Pop3. This is the most confusing choice we need to make while configuring our mail client in order to access emails. So today, here I'm going to explain you the main difference between these two and why or when to choose POP3 or IMAP. So what is IMAP and POP? These two are most common incoming email protocols. These protocols are used to connect your mailbox server to an email client. Here, an email client refers to for an example, Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird. Basically, it allows you to send and receive the emails from mail client like Outlook or Thunderbird to your local desktop laptop. It allows you to access your emails through online web services like Gmail or Microsoft Mails. And it also allows you to access your emails on mobile devices like your smartphones or tablets. Then what is the difference between POP and IMAP? First, let's see what is POP. POP stands for Post Office Protocol and the latest version is POP3. It is supported by all the email clients and servers. POP3 download mails on your local device including computers or smartphones or tablets using the client and deletes them from the email server. By using POP3, an internet-connected email client accesses the mail server. Then, it downloads all your mails to the local device and then it marks the messages for deletion on the email server. So it means that if you have received emails using POP3, they can be only accessible on specific email client on a specific device that you downloaded to and they cannot be accessible through other clients on devices other than that you downloaded to. However, some email clients allow you to keep the copy of emails on server and once you delete them from your client, it may not get synced with the email server. Now let's see what is IMAP. IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. Unlike POP3 which downloads and auto-deletes emails from server, IMAP allows us to view and access emails from any internet connected email clients or web email services from any device at multiple locations keeping the copies of mails on the web server rather than deleting them this feature has made it very popular so basically if you are using imap to access your mails your email client receives a copy of emails from the server and the original stays on the email server this feature makes it possible for us to access our emails from any client on any devices unless you delete them from one client. Synchronization is done with all the devices and email server. If you delete an email from one of the clients on one of the devices, it gets deleted from the server and other devices too. So let's conclude this topic with some points of differences. First. If you want to receive your email messages only on a single computer or a device, then POP3 is useful. While using IMAP, you can access your emails on multiple devices simultaneously at any time. 2. POP is a one-way communication because it deletes the messages once you download them to your local device and then disconnects the device from mail server while IMAP is a two-way communication where it retrieves your mails and caches it on your local device and keep the original content on the server. Synchronization is done both the way. 3. Both protocols operate on different ports. 4. POP3 does not require an internet connection if you want to access the downloaded emails unless you want to retrieve new emails while imap which stores your emails in cache only it requires internet connection all the time
I hope you like the video. Keep sharing it. Provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you.